Okay, well, hello out there, and uh, welcome back. Um, apologies, it's been a bit quiet on the YouTube front, just been uh, sorting a few things out, but uh, yeah, now it's uh, it's all good. So, um, got this car from Coparts. Um, they do like a good stick out the old salvage auction. Danger. To be fair, they're not far wrong um, in this case. So, this car has got a motor fault, um, which I'm just starting to investigate. I don't worry about the bricks, I've ordered some ramps, but they haven't arrived yet, which is kind of annoying. But um, yeah, so this has got a motor fault that needs investigating, need to make sure if it's definitely is the motor, if it's just the motor, that kind of thing. So I'm just getting into that today. And just having a look over the car, getting it up in the air. So I'm getting the under trays off. And uh, first thing I noticed, well, so this, this aluminium under tray was there. So that one is the one that fits in front of the battery there. Um, and then there's another one that goes in front of that between the sort of front under tray and the aluminium one and that one's totally missing so that's kind of the first thing with a co-parts car bits bit it might be missing um, and that's just kind of how it goes basically um yes you sort of got to expect that so that's it's a plastic under tray that's there and then there's kind of like wings down the side quite a big one so that needs replacing because obviously you're going to get moisture and um, which is going to splash up onto that battery connector Next thing um, is inside the car. Was this. And um, when I saw this, I was a little bit concerned because this is part of a high voltage battery connector. I'll show you where this goes. Um, so this is a high voltage connector. Um, and basically, if I get it the right way around, but that's that bit, isn't it? You see, that goes like that. And what actually happens is there's this inner black part and there's a pin on the, on the socket. And as you push it on, that rotates and it sort of locks this in place effectively. And then this holds that black bit in so it can't come off. So it's like this. This is obviously on a different component, but same thing. So it's got a pin there. Um, and as that goes on, that sort of locks onto that that slides on there. Ooh. Sorry, tricky with one hand at a funny angle. See, like that, you see? So that, that kind of eats that and then it rotates and kind of locks it on, basically. And then this cover holds it all in place so it can't come off. So when I saw this in the car, it's kind of like, okay, yeah, interesting. So I found where it's come from and it's not good, really. So and then we see this, you see, we've got the orange part here, but that black bit is meant to be round here. So we kind of know that someone who doesn't know what they're doing has been at this car and they've forced this and they've broken the black bit, basically, or not necessarily broken it, but dislodged it. And basically we can wiggle this and just pull it straight off. Obviously I've done a high voltage shutdown on this vehicle, hence I'm not wearing my gloves or anything. Um, but yeah, and verified it's all safe and all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, if you look here where the pin should be, I'm just going to move the camera right in, is broken off. So there's meant to be the plastic pin that sticks there. And then this bit sort of locks onto it. And um, yeah, it's just been forced and it's been broken. So someone who just doesn't know what they're doing has been at this, basically ripped it off. What? I've seen before is if you yank this like the cable hard enough it breaks this pin and then this comes out and it leaves the black out a bit on there so that's probably what's happened and then they've gone oh expletive um and then pulled the black bit off there and then they've just pushed this back on basically just to um yeah just just left it like that basically so at the moment there's nothing stopping this we can fix this car but there's nothing stopping this as you're going down the road from just coming off basically and obviously then the car just breaks down whether you're in the fast lane of the motorway or whatever um that's just gonna break down basically so yeah in terms of repairing this the black bit i may be able to get over here should be able to it doesn't it doesn't look like it's broken it's just kind of like been forced and popped off so we should be able to get that back in, otherwise we have to replace this cable. This is going to be a bit more fun. I've done a little bit of repairing these connectors before, and they are, they're sort of like not one piece. You can see a metal, there's a little aluminium shield there, and this inner and outer are actually separate parts, and that's like a kind of um, shield for the inner part. 
So, yeah, it kind of, um, they do come apart, but they're quite tricky. There's little like tangs holding different bits in place. So we're gonna have to try and repair that. Obviously I don't really want to take the battery out, take the lid off and have to then unbolt the connector inside and take the whole thing off. Ideally, we wanna try and get this outer part off, but yeah, mm, that's gonna be um, interesting, but should be possible. We should be able to do that. Yeah, we should be able to do that. They do vary a little bit, these. Even when you see, like, that other one I showed you, which is the same size, um, it's a little bit deceptive because sometimes they have lines down the side in different places, um, and they do that so that if they've got two of the same connector, you can't put these cables in the wrong place because they vary. Um, so sometimes they have little slots on the inside and things. Um, you do it quite often with the smaller ones, so like under the bonnet where you've got multiple of them, they'll have little lines down the side and then it'll actually be slightly different so that you can't you can't cross the streams, basically. You can't put them in the wrong place. Um, so we'll have to double check when we look for a replacement outer of this that it's actually definitely the right one and it's going to fit as well. So there you go, just a little bit of Copart fun. I thought that was interesting, but yeah, when you get something from Copart, you just literally don't know what you're going to end up with what it's going to be like um yeah and at the end of the day just it's just kind of going to take longer to fix basically um so yeah it's got some cover panels open and things there inside so that's not a major issue um but yeah fun and games so next i need to look at this motor but yeah i just thought that was an interesting aside really because when you're getting it from co-parts you just literally don't know what you're getting and quite possibly somebody doesn't know what they're doing um, has had a play with it and then you've got to fix the original fault and you've got to fix whatever they've broken a bit of added fun so i hope that's interesting and i'll catch you all later cheers